everybody, it's me, Nate, aka Double Dog, and I'm back with another video. As you can tell by the thumbnail, this is going to be a little bit of a talk involving the upcoming Hitman 3 game. Now, upcoming is kind of a, a weird way to say it, considering I don't think the release date for this official release date is until sometime until January of next year. But there's a couple things I want to talk about with this game that it's just it, it's just odd, okay? Now, once again, it is another Hitman game in a massive series of the Hitman titles made by IO Interactive, if I remember correctly. And this particular one, Hitman 3, I think is the eighth in the series, technically. And it's really weird how they do it, because you know you had you know Hitman 1, 2. Well, they're calling this one Hitman 3, even though it should be called Hitman 8, 88 and a third, you know, the, 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 the act of hit. Uh, I mean, really, because they've had a lot of Hitman games in the series. Now, this game will be coming out on Microsoft Windows, the PS4, the PS5, the Xbox One, and the Xbox Series X, and Stadia. Now, the main thing I want to talk about this is there's certain bits of information I found out that I want to let you people know about Hitman because Hitman games have always been really cool and they've gotten really good. Um, now, this particular new one is not going to have any multiplayer to it. They removed that multiplayer aspect from it. Uh, one was, I think it was called Ghost Mode and the other was an Assassin Mode. Well, this one will have Assassin Mode returning but it's strictly single player. It's not going to be online, and they, they got rid of Ghost Mode, which actually was kind of good. I kind of liked Ghost Mode in the last one. And, um, you know, it's really well, because once again, you do play as Agent 47 as you go around, but the main draw this time that I want to talk about is the inclusion of VR support for this, which is a first in the history of Hitman. And the thing is, it's really cool. You're like, well, okay, big deal. It's got VR support. Well, the interesting thing is you can have retroactive levels in this. Now, what I mean is they say you can import your maps and levels and your progress from the previous Hitman games over into this. And um, anything that actually uh, supports a VR aspect you can actually play those levels in VR, which is fantastic because I can't wait to see just how you can do these uh, you know, these levels. Because one thing about Hitman that I've always loved is just the long, drawn-out, overly complicated ways that you can take down your targets. Oh, here's my final target.
And um, honestly, I'm really looking forward to this game. Um, really, I am. And uh, the inclusion of the newer levels, like in Dubai and also England, um, plus they seem to be a lot more mature this time around. Because let's be honest, some of the other Hitman games kind of got on the corny side with the way of the costumes and stuff like that. Like the, the good old glitch of the heat-seeking you know, briefcase you could throw. That was always fun. Throw it, you know, and it would like turn 90 degrees and smack the dude in the head and kill him. Um, but I've always been a fan of the Hitman games and I cannot wait to actually get my hands on the VR aspect. Don't get me wrong. I want to play the new levels, but I want to be able to play all the old levels of the previous Hitman games in VR. Now, the thing is with this, they're being kind of weird. They're saying you can import your other levels. Now, what I mean by that is since this is technically um, Hitman 8, I guess it would be from Hitman 5. Or, you know, it's 6, it's six sorry. Hitman 6, 7, and 8. So, you know, Hitman 1, 2, and 3 from the new series. Uh, I, I forget what, you know, trilogy that they tied it in with. But I think it's strictly just that trilogy. I'm pretty darn sure it doesn't mean you can import and bring in all the old levels. Which, you know, honestly would be kind of cool. But yeah, I, I don't know why they would do that. But, you know, in the end, I cannot wait to actually play as Agent 47 going around in VR mode doing these levels. I'm sure if they can get the button mapping right, possibly if they would just come out with some new PS Move controllers with analog sticks on them, which would solve the problem of the movement instead of those annoying buttons. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hopefully the PS5, since the PSVR is compatible with it, hopefully they just do it. They come out with some new controllers for that thing. Those outdated move controllers, while they work, they're not good. And I worry about the movement of how you're being able to move in VR as Agent 47 in Hitman. But in the end, I cannot wait for this game. I love all the other ones. I can't wait to see it. But it is a shame that they've kind of left out some of the multiplayer aspects. But they did add the VR, depending on how good it is with the locomotion or the full movement control, how they do it. I don't know how they're going to do it, but I can't wait to see. Because imagine that with the VR mode with your controllers, with the, the wire, like, you know, going up and actually having to, like, choke people to kill them or, or grab them and do this to break their neck. Or just, you know, just looking down the sights of the VR gun, shooting them. That would work brilliantly in VR. It really would. Leave in the comments below what you think of Hitman 3. Do you think it's going to work in VR? Let me know if you're planning on playing it in VR. Let me know if you're one of the five people out there that plan on playing it on Stadia. Yeah, let me know how that works out for you. Um, and in the end, this was Nate, a.k.a. Devil Dog. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching these videos. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave some comments for me to answer for you involving what you think how the VR or the game in itself in Hitman 3 is going to be. And remember, I always end my videos by saying, have fun, play hard, and remember, people, the devil is in the details. Peace out until next time.